problems. Butler's experience, Kilgallen's pace, could nullify that. Shipley decent in the air, Butler should be able to take care of that. In midfield, that's where it could be really competitive. Douglas and Derry could be chasing after Jagielka and Montgomery, who both got lots of legs to get around the park. But the one thing they need to do is get the ball to Blake and Hulse, because they can change the game in a flash. Well, Neil Warnock's side, very solid. The goalkeeper's very decent. At the back, Bromby and Morgan, very commanding. Wright and Geary tonight, it's interested to see how they'll play, whether they get forward or they just hold their positions, because Eiffel, down that right-hand side, you just give him plenty of the ball. If Geary's got any sense, just keep rolling it to him, because he can cause all sorts of problems in midfield. I told you about the legs of Montgomery and Jagielka, they'll cover virtually every inch. Quinn will try to set one or two things up. Shipley will hold the ball when he can, and Cabba, just watch him go tonight, he certainly motors. Well, the two managers know each other rather well. They worked together for 16 years, most recently at Sheffield United, where in one season they reached both Cup semi-finals and the playoff final. Their long association ended acrimoniously a couple of years ago when Blackwell left Bramall Lane. It's not quite water under the bridge yet, but in their time together they won five promotions. If they both manage a sixth on their own, the county of Yorkshire will be open for Premiership business again. One of the top refs for a top game, it's Alan Wiley who's in charge. Sheffield United have set a blistering pace in the Championship this season, but Leeds United have moved up to four. They have their Yorkshire rivals just about in sight. had the billing. Let's hope we get the goods. Well, Sheffield United did the double over Leeds last season, including a 4-0 win here. There are scores to settle for the men of Ellen Road. The rain has been falling heavily since mid-afternoon. Just what you want for a Yorkshire derby. It all adds to the occasion. Cabba. Quickly in on Kelly. And he can move Cabba. Absolutely grease lightning. Just watch him shift tonight. If he gets one on one. Sheffield United with 12 wins from their opening 14 games. We have to give them immense credit for that. It's been a storming start. Gary Kelly. Quite a lot has changed at Ellen Road over the last few years, but is Gary Kelly still here? Wonderful servant to the game, not just this football club. Hulse trying to set up Lewis, and ceremoniously booted high into the sky by Morgan. And Butler sorting out Shipley. See Neil Shipley just gone over towards John Kilgallen. Cabba trying to put himself on Butler. Sean Derry for Fraser Richardson, and he's going to have Gary Kelly available on the overlap. I'll tell you what, that wasn't such a bad ball. Everybody was sucked inside the box, he just needed somebody dropping out, Gary Kelly. Cabba. Geary getting forward and earning the throw off Hardy. Eiffel gives it back to Geary, who's given time to deliver. Stayed away by Kilgallop. Dick Montgomery. He's up against the team of his dreams, a Leeds United fan. He was born in the city. He's done well, Montgomery, I think. Neil Warnock was thinking at the start of the season, I need a footballer, a passer in there, because Jagielka will cover the ground and make the tackles, but Montgomery's pushed his way into the side. Nallis has been allowed to go, on loan. Good commentary, yeah. Yes. There's a 
challenge then. And Tottenham Wiley is allowed to go. To his assistant flagged. Because Leeds planning a raid with Gary Kelly. It's out by Morgan Hoss. Might have just nipped in behind. Eddie Lewis. This is Douglas. Kelly. Richardson takes over. Trying to return it to Kelly, but it spun off Alan Wright. Well, it's open at the moment. It's not tight, it's not hustle bustle. Let's, let's give them a little bit of space and a little bit of time. Both sides offering each other that little bit of respect. An early corner for Leeds, and the left foot of Eddie, Ewith, Eddie uh, Lewis might come in handy. Here it comes from Lewis, but Paddy Kenny untroubled, and there was a push anyway spotted by Alan Wiley. The goalkeeper's got the ball in his hands. No need to blow up, Mr. Wiley. Just let him carry on. Leeds certainly feel like they are Sheffield United one, in fact, probably more than one. Recent history has very much favoured the Blades. Not only did they do the double in the league last season, but they've also uh, beaten Leeds in a couple of recent cup encounters. The Bromby's got a long throw on him. And we're about to see it. Aim towards Chipperley. It's Sean Derry, a former Sheffield United player, who hoists it away. Well, he didn't win it, Shiffley, but what he does, he causes mayhem. Cabot. It's loose at the moment, the game. It's not one side beginning to take charge at all. It's just not what we expected in the early moments of a Yorkshire derby. I think we. Expected a little bit more blood and thunder. Good wins in midweek for both of these teams. Leeds beating Southampton here. And Sheffield United, 4 0 winners at Millwall. And Wiley pulling that back. He's wanting to take charge tonight. Already let the players know he's around. Bromby's going to take this, and his uh, fellow centre half Chris Morgan is going to join the likes of Jackie Ocker in that. Goes short to Quinn after all that. Montgomery. Bromby again. Now he aims for Morgan and finds him too. Butler clears. Quinn. Richardson steps in front. But Jagielka not giving it up just yet. Kaba. Straight on to the head of Kilgallen. Now Hulse and Blake hunting together. Richardson involved, but rather casual. Too much of a hurry to get rid of it. Hulse looking for a position in the box and willing to take the ball off. Richardson, but Richardson just got to keep his composure a bit. Montgomery. Tangling with Jonathan Douglas. And Sheffield United get the free kick. He's coming up again. Chris Morgan. Just aimed for him, minute. We saw that magnificent header he put back across the box. And here's Alan Wright. I should have aimed for him. 
Goodwin. Run into Derrick. Nigel Spackman signed him for Sheffield United. Neil Warnock sold him. A black eye at the moment after uh, that uh, tunnel bust up at Burnley recently. Jagielka! Some try, some power on it. This is absolutely magnificent. Just watch this as he turns it away. There's only one thing in his mind when he takes that ball up. He thinks, right, I'm going to have a pop. Just rolls it across his body and then he fires it beautifully. Unfortunately for Phil, it's just drifting away the whole time, but you can see what ammunition he's got in those feet. Well, quite a few Premiership clubs have uh, shown interest in Phil Jagielka in recent seasons. He might get to play in the top flight for Sheffield United soon. Harding. Here comes Morgan. Harding signed from Brighton. Down to Eiffel. Lewis ensuring that Harding will get another throw, but he throws it straight at Bromby. Chamber loses it. Douglas. throw finds Lewis and Montgomery scooping it out Derrick Harding takes another throw Surge brought to an end by Harding. Nobody can really get a grip, but now Derry has. <laughs> Kelly. Pulse. Morgan sticking close to him. Good idea. Leeds United's top scorer this season, and Morgan with a very forceful challenge. It's just a corner. Well, it was a lunge, as Rob Hulse is saying to the assistant, who couldn't be any closer. He's lunged in at me, referee. Is that not a foul? Didn't get anything on the ball. Gary Kelly takes a miscue from uh, Eiffel. Gary <laughs> Kenny able to pick it up and able to release Alan Quinn. Only Cabra up there with him at the moment. Quinn doing a decent job hanging on to this, waiting for others to arrive. To Gielka. Geary there with him, but Harding signs in. And tremendous counter-attacking football, as you said, Alan Quinn, brilliant. Just keep hold of it, don't give it away. Don't even gamble with the pass to Cabba. Let's keep the ball in there, final third, push everybody up. Bombay's throws, an advantage in these sort of situations. Bombay seeking out Morgan, it bounces all the way through. And Butler, oh, a mistake there from Derry, but Montgomery's rely on Kelly. Plenty of options ahead of him. Sean Derry, alongside of uh, Robbie Blake. Derek Geary who had to cover that. A little time and space there, Sean Derry, maybe have a pop. Richardson. Two balls on the pitch at the moment. And Butler checking cover. 
Lewis kept it under control and gets the throw. And brilliant control there. Eddie Lewis, the American international, who reached the playoff final with Preston last season. My Phil. Grimacing at the moment. Chris Morgan certainly made sure he was going to win that. He usually does. Harding. Well, the game's bitty at the moment. Leeds can't get any real flow. Sheffield United look slightly better team. Montgomery. Kevin Blackwell. Spent uh, 16 years in all with uh, Neil Warnock. Started out as a player, as a goalkeeper under him at Scarborough. Stayed with him and became coach and assistant manager. So far, uh, Warnock has ruled in their meetings as managers. Blackwell hoping that will change tonight. Blake caught by Morgan, who claims he got the ball. Robbie well, Blake wanted the foul before the ball actually even came into him, and no contact made from Chris Morgan. has uh, come across those are the targets to aim for Lewis straight through to Paddy Kenny we've seen them catch keepers out before but good footwork from Paddy there's a Richardson minding the shot whilst others have gone forward for that free kick Cabba Montgomery. Gary Kelly. Oh, he's not quite got it back to Sullivan and Alan Quinn nearly nipped in. Quinn has been tripped by Kelly. Well, Sullivan obviously shouted. Gary Kelly for the ball there. Played it back to him and well read by Alan Quinn. Quinn delivers, and Jackie Elka had uh, peeled away. Oh, brilliant stuff from Alan Quinn to read the situation here. Watch Nick Montgomery dig this ball out and across the box. How has he got that over? Kelly then gets a shout from his keeper, but Quinn reads it really well. And the header didn't carry. And Quinn, one of a few Sheffield United players who used to play for Sheffield Wednesday. Interesting when the Sheffield Derby comes around. Bobby Blake, who scored a stunner here against Southampton, and Blake goes to ground, but Alan Wiley had a pretty decent view. It never looked likely. I was hoping, wasn't he, Robbie Blake, that there was some contact on him. Chris Morgan was about to put the challenge in and he saw that, Robbie Blake, but didn't follow through with it, Morgan. Kelly for Blake. Kelly delivers, but that's rather wayward. Paul Eiffel. Sheffield United's new recruits this season from Millwall. Harding stopped Montgomery in his tracks. And Leeds have got a free kick. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing there, Robbie Blake. He's just hoping that when Morgan comes back at him, 
but he's going to make contact with the ball. None at all. Well done, the referee. Was having none of it. Douglas, Harding, Hulse, touched away by Bromby. Quinn now, and his butler, the Leeds captain. Blake in front of Morgan. And Eddie Lewis coming in, but Keary poked it away. And it was favourite there, Chris Morgan allowed. Robbie Blake to get in front of him for that one. Harding. Lewis. Promising. And not as promising as it might have been. Richardson unable to connect. Great defending from Alan Wright. Really good. Took charge. Two Leeds players either side. Fraser Richardson, Hulse. Oh, tremendous covering from Alan Wright, great ball in from Eddie Lewis. He's got Richardson to his right-hand side, Rob Holt in the middle, he's been allowed to go. Just that touch is enough to take it away from Richardson. Top-class covering. Start for right in the absence of Unsworth. It's a shove. Butler on Cabba. Cabba let it go for Shipley, who returns it. Stephen Cabba! Forced away by Sullivan. Fantastic play. What an over that is. Superb stuff. That's where Shipley comes into his own in this fella. Produce the goods along with him. Morgan. Over the head of Shipley. Uh, this is what happens when you play together. You work out a system, look, I'm leaving it for you. Ships puts it back on his feet superbly, takes it out of his feet. Sullivan can only parry it back into the danger zone, but because Shipley's out on the edge of the box, there's nobody else in there following up. Well, they were both given a rest at Millwall in the week, but uh, restored to the starting lineup, even though Danny Weber and Vincent Terracard did so well at the New Den. Montgomery. I feel. Off uh, Rob Hulse. Well, it's a nice local derby, and it seems to suit Sheffield United that way because it's just working in their favour now that's got the best that Leeds can offer. Will now it's time for us to start some attacks. Quinn got to it first, got it back from Montgomery. Fraser Richardson digs it out. Available. Jackie Elka's got himself edge of area. Kaba! Oh, tremendous try! And Sullivan reacts again. I tell you what, this is absolutely terrific football from start to finish. Just look at the movement, the pace, and the footwork of this fella. Go on, have a little bite, try and take it from me, Kelly. You try a diving butler, I'll take it away from you, and then I've got to beat the goalkeeper. The power is magnificent, the direction's not great, but you've still got to save it, Neil. And doesn't he do well? Well, if you would deny Stephen Cabba the uh, good times after two terrible injury hit years. Quinn's corner. And Quinn gets it back from Montgomery. Oh, 
Russell's back helping out his defence then, but he's going to join this attack pretty sharpish. There he is. Harding. Well, it opens up in front of Harding. Onto his right foot. Still an excellent try. Well, you clocked it there, Ian. When people are stepping away, then why not? If you're all going to back away from me, it might not be on my strongest foot, but it's just sitting nicely after I've cued it with my left foot beautifully. Goalkeeper Paddy Kenny's not sure exactly where it's going. He's beaten if it's underneath him. What a strike. Look at the technique, superb. Bending back the whole way, but just over. Oh, for a moment, they thought it was going in the top corner here from Harding. Could give Leeds a nice little lift now because they need it. That was their uh, first attempt, Leeds. Eiffel now for Quinn. Eiffel. It's not at his best tonight, Paul Eiffel. Normally the crosses have got more quality than that on them. He normally has a look in the middle to see where they are. Neil Warnock coming up to six years in charge, he would dearly love to take the club he supported into the Premiership. Geary. Oh, he's got that in, it's awkward for Sullivan, but it's swirled out, in fact, for a goal kick. Did it go up? His sister's got a better view than I have, but... Has that gone, gone out and come back in before the <laughs> goalkeeper touches it? <laughs> got away with oh, that one, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those um, boomerang banana shots, isn't it? <laughs> Chris Sargentson definitely saw it go out. Maybe. Derrick. Heidi, Kelly. Richardson. Tantalising return and Kelly's cross. Kenny comes and actually sets up Eiffel. Great goalkeeping. Rob Holtz wasn't looking at the ball though, he was just looking at Paddy Kenny. And some surge, Perry tapped him all the way. Could be a long throw here for uh, a man who is a bit of an expert in that field. Lee Bromby. Bromby aiming it towards Morgan, who quickly had two men on him. Geary. Oh, that went into the only uh, part of the field where there was... Teammate. And they don't retain possession long enough, Leeds. That's what their downfall is. Great header from Hulse. Fraser Richardson having a run at Alan Wright. But Paddy Kenny behind him. Yeah, he got himself half a yard, have a go, why not? Wait and see, but you're not going to beat Paddy Kenny with that. say Leeds was second best because Sheffield United have not created that many chances but they're certainly inferior at the moment. I feel Cabba Butler with him and the outcome is a corner. What was going on down there? <laughs> In between his knees and his feet and, and all sorts was going on. Let's have a look. Just at the benefit of the doubt once again. <laughs> it's closer than we are. Wins corner. Jagielka's header was a good one, but Sullivan stopped it. 
Yeah, terrific header. You just needs somebody. Cabba starts off in front of the goalkeeper. If he stays with him, that pops right on his head, but leaves Neil Schipoli to collect it. I feel Harding's challenge. Phil Gallon covering his position over there. They look stronger, more composed. Sheffield United and their football's better. Just 35 miles between Bramall Lane and Ellen Road. That was about three hours on the M1 today. Richardson. And Douglas can't get near it. Steered away by Geary to Eiffel. Just searching a bit, Paul Eiffel tonight. Well, that was a move where they should have been away. Cabba. A good opportunity. Up against uh, the leaders Sheffield United this week, and they face the other early season pace setters Reading next week. At the Medeski. Bottom right. Second time of asking, and Jagielka had his shorts. Pulled by Gary Kelly. And we get a yellow card. And quite rightly so, he's away. Phil Jagielka can't pull him back anymore. Not going to convince anybody with that dive thing. He certainly pulled him down. Jagielka's skill in the corner there was magnificent. He can play loads and loads of positions, Jagielka. So you get plenty for your money's worth if you buy him. Right, sending it in towards Cabba. Alan Quinn's cross. Blake. Over towards Lewis, but Montgomery was with him all the way. He just seemed to have that little bit more energy and pace about them. Sheffield United than Leeds. Leeds are hoping things might happen, whereas Sheffield United are determined to make them happen from Leeds' point of view. And Kevin and John Carver, as we see there, is it still nil-nil? So um, nothing won, nothing lost. That's John Carver, who uh, joined from Newcastle. strong at home this season, their only defeat came to Ipswich and uh, they felt they were unlucky to lose that one. Crabs though well down at Ellen Road this season, mainly due to a huge hike in season ticket prices, which perhaps understandably has put some fans off coming. And whereas the average last season here for Ken Bates's team was Lewis and 
Derry. Bounces off Shipley, nicely for Kelly. Blake unable to return it to Richardson. Chipley, he's got the free kick off Kilgallen. Alan Quinn then will take this. Sheffield United looking for a breakthrough, but Cabot. Seemingly coming from an offside position. Well, there's Neil. He'll be quite happy with the way things are. The side don't look under any pressure whatsoever. It just might be slightly disappointed with some of their bits of quality going forward, but he can work on that at half time. Whereas this fella, you can see the look on his face is, you know, come on, lads, I need something from you. Shippley. Sean Derry Richardson Pulse can only knock it out well, That's the way it is at the moment For Leeds it's just hopeful football Everybody looking at everybody else to do something special Needs to be collective, need to get together. Bromby. Alan Wright, I meant that. Just kidding. Here's Blake. Fraser Richardson. Blake's cross, it might come to Hulse! Oh, what a chance for Leeds and for their top scorer. Well, how has he scored? How has he not scored in this particular instance? Watch Robbie Blake, he's given too much time, Robbie Blake. Stop the cross. That's what Neil Warnock was saying to Quinn. Never mind standing away from him, just stop that cross. Once it comes off Alan Wright's head and ends up on Rob Hulse's head, I cannot believe he has not turned his head sideways to pop that in the corner of the net. Look at Blackie, he thinks it's in. He's just about to celebrate. I can't believe it. What can he? They have been going in of late, five in the last four games for Rob Hulse. Opportunity stern. Well, when you look at it, really, and so for tonight, that would, wouldn't say dominated the game, but more or less had a grip on the game. Uh, and the best chance for Walsh to Leeds United. Rombi for Eiffel. Corner. Well, will that miss from Hulse? Going to be costly. Well, if something comes of this corner, Sheffield United the more comfortable side so far. Quinn delivers. And Butler made sure that Morgan couldn't get near it. He yeah, won the first couple of headers, Chris Morgan. Since then, Paul Butler's taken charge. Rob Holtz was picking him up early on. Just had a little swap. Comes from Alan Quinn again. And free kick for Leeds. Yep, again to you, Paul Eiffel. It'll be all for half time, Paul Eiffel, for his manager to waken him up. <laughs> and he'll do that. 
He doesn't miss a trick, Neil Warnock. It's been exciting to watch this season, Sheffield United, but come to think of it, there's really been a dull moment over the last few years with Neil Warnock around. Harding. Straight at Morgan, but he'll get a second chance. Jim Gallon preferred to Sean Gregan tonight. Just operating as three separate units, Leeds United, that's what their problems is. Back line searching for the front or the midfield, don't seem to find them. The midfield not really in tune with the strikers and the strikers isolated. Here's Cabba. Right. Quinn. Shipley. Oh, he's found Jaggy Elka. What a move this is. It's Alan Quinn who's off target. He just got too forward of the ball. Alan Quinn. Just got too forward as he gets onto this control here. You can see what he's looking to do, he's just to bend it in that left-hand side, he's applauding the football, look at that. That's it, lads, we can play through them. You just keep doing that, and the chances will come. Nice to see a, a shot of uh, Neil not ranting there. Yeah, you know. that's, that's unusual, actually. He's mellowed these days. <laughs> yeah, right. Last five minutes of the first half. Sheffield United incisive again with Cabba. After this time, though. And Blake just couldn't quite dig it out. It's come off Aaron Wiley. Oh, and uh, Rob House lunging in on Alan Quinn and he's going to get a yellow card. Well, all of a sudden they lost a couple of challenges. Robbie Blake might have just been fouled a second and Rob Hulse is watching this and thought, right, I'm going to get involved. And quite rightly, Alan Wiley says, you could have caught somebody when you died in the way that you did. So you're going to get a yellow. Hulse joins Gary Kelly in the book. making sure once again that uh, Morgan couldn't uh, offer anything that time. Coming tomorrow, Sky Sports 1 from noon, it's Blackburn against Birmingham, and then later, a Prem Plus match on Sky Digital Channel 437 for more details, Portsmouth Charlton from 5. And Stuart McCall, who's Neil Warnock's assistant, I know one thing he'll be saying at half-time, he's changed those free kicks, leave Morgan with Paul Butler and maybe aimed for Shipley, who's now being marked by Rob Hulse. Alan Wright. Neil Warnock far from calm at the moment as he uh, has some choice words to say. Quinn, Cabba, Montgomery runs into Derry. And Rob Hulse has got a free kick as Morgan closed in on him.
Kelly standing over this. And we're going to get a goal before half time in this Yorkshire derby, which hasn't quite taken off as we thought it might. Harding. Basically, it's because Leeds haven't got into any sort of gears, basically, to try and make it like a Yorkshire derby. And Cabba now has found Shipperley. His touch let him down, but he's given a second chance. Eiffel. Didn't need to go back outside, Paul Eiffel. No way does he need to go back outside when he gets his ball, Paul Eiffel. Just keep coming inside on your left foot. Maybe spin it across the box, but he decides to go back down the outside where they're strong. from Lewis. Jackie Elkis cross. Alan Wright will take this. Alan Quinn meets it. Bromby really has been an excellent signing to Sheffield United. Here's Quinn, wouldn't have been too bad either. Montgomery for Geary. Leeds making hard work of it. Montgomery, Quinn. And all the... Uh, 45 minute mark has been reached, and there's only going to be one more minute added on. That gives both managers a chance, maybe Neil, to just improve his quality of his team in the final third. And for Kevin Blackwell to actually get his side going, motivated and sharp into the tackle, and put some pressure on Sheffield United. course with Harding then. Got well done the referee there. Harding went to ground hoping that he would get a free kick. We've done away with the multi-ball system which we were using early in the game. <laughs> it's taken quite a while to get the ball back. Well, he crept a few yards then, and the foul throw has been given. And then taken from the wrong place. <laughs> I'll say the half-time whistle will go in a moat. It is half-time at Ellen Road. Sheffield United look the more likely to open the scoring, but probably the best chance came the way of Rob Hulse, whose header went just wide. At the break, it's Leeds United nil, Sheffield United nil.